Hi, and welcome back to Bill's Cichlid Room. Well, I went on a trip up to Aqualife yesterday, uh, so I got some footage, so I thought we'd do a shop tour of Aqualife. So Aqualife uh, in Leibold, it's one of my favorite shops, this one. Um, as I've said before, it's run by hobbyists for hobbyists. It's not the biggest shop in the world, but the variety of the, uh, the, the fish that they have is always amazing. And um, you have got to look around every single tank to make sure that you don't miss anything. So what I've done is I've actually tried to concentrate more on the cichlids that they had in yesterday. So, um, so in this tank, there's a group of um, Uaru in there and a small group of rainbows. I think the rainbows are the ones that I took in a couple of months ago, but the Uaru look really, really good. Um, yeah, the 29 each they were, but they were a really good size. They're, they're probably five or six inches already. Um, so yeah, they've got all the adult coloration and yet yeah, doing really, really well. Um, the other thing to watch out for in this shop is the Corridorus. They do have a real good variety of them. Um, so in this tank, uh, it's the, the Mozambique swords, which um, that I was quite taken with. Um, the size of the swords on them is massive. Um, so yeah, there's those, and they've got them in the tank there with some uh, harlequins. Um, some severums uh, with the discus, <laughs> um, and some more corridorus. So yeah, the, the severums look really, really good as well. Uh, they were probably about four inches. going over yet so the, the seven rooms that they were 19.99 each but as you can see just from these ones the the variety of the fish that they had the, the, I think they'd had the, a big shipment of angels in as well because there was lots of different angels in so yet these angels six pound 29 each or two for 12 pound so yeah the real real colorful ones and uh, yeah quite a variety of platies as well Yeah, so in this tank, something for the um, for the West Africans um, and uh, the Petrocola. The Petrocola look really, really nice. Uh, the Grandilois, um, you know, fifty nine ninety nine each. Um, they do get quite large, those ones, hence the name Grandilois. But yeah, at this size, they are really, really uh, pretty fish uh, with, with the whites on the on the tails. Um, so some more West African uh, cichlids. So these are the Molwai. So these are eighteen ninety nine a pair. So yeah, the, these are really nice. The, the part of the crib family, as you can probably tell, but yet the coloration is really different. I'm um, yeah, I was really tempted to get these, but uh, <laughs> I haven't got a West African set up at the moment. But yeah, they, they were really nice. Yeah, so some more um, saw tails and these Corridorus. So these Corridorus were really nice, uh, really pretty ones. So yeah, they, they do specialise in like the, the rare Corridorus. They, they do get a lot of them in. Yeah, so the, the Equence, so they had their £29.99 each. And the, these were really nice. These are uh, a group of wild autumn angels. Price on these, so these were 79.99 each, but yeah, they, they were large ones. It, yeah, probably from the tips of the tail, I'd, I'd say probably about five inches. So, yeah, it's still a little bit of growing to do, but yeah, they, they looked in really, really good condition. Uh, pike cichlids as well, they had quite a few pike cichlids in. Uh, so, these are the compressiceps, which looked in really good condition, and they, they also had um, like some of the, the, the red hump cichlids. Yeah, the compressiceps were really nice. The, these are the dwarf, uh, the dwarf pike cichlid, so they, they get to about five or six inches. And the stand deck, the rice, so yeah, they, they were £40 for a pair. Yeah, in this tank, um, it, it, it was the, the Tetras that, that, <laughs> that I was really uh, taken with. Yeah, 
a bit unusual coloured swords as well, but yeah, the, the, the Tetras were really, really nice, like really colourful. I've not seen these ones before. And this was probably the showstopper for me. Um, so th these are the uh, the, the Pisiclids, the, 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 the Zindu ones. Um, so yeah, they're also known as the Orange Pike Cichlid. Um, they do get quite large, these ones. They do get up to about 14 inches, but the, the coloration in the in the parents is, uh, of the adults is completely different to, uh, to the juveniles. But yeah, they're really, really nice nice specimens these it, if I would have had um, like some tank space for them like a group of these would have been going home with me I'm sure yeah. so all I actually got was um, like a pair of the, the sword tails um, I did get some a couple of months ago from Wharf but unfortunately they jumped out the tank so yeah they, they, I've got this pair to replace it so they weren't too bad so five, £5.99 each <laughs> so six, six pound for the uh, sorry £12 for the pair well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the shop tour of Aqualife. If you haven't already, please do hit the subscribe button and I'll see you all on the next video.